Oh, all right, man. It's been a while, and um, today, starting uh, when a new kickoff, we're trying uh, something new, a new type of video, and I hope you guys enjoy. But today, as you've seen the title, we were talking about the infamous, the legendary, the mythic game itself, GTA Grand Theft Auto. But not five, surprisingly, as everyone would assume after so many years. Six. We we're talking about GTA 6. And if you saw this as a surprise, and somehow I'm the first person you saw it on, then I mean, I guess great, but you're probably living under a rock. Because the trailer of GTA 6 had just dropped a couple days ago, and it's crazy. I mean, like... I can't even tell you how crazy it is because the trailer from GTA 6 got, I believe, over 100 something million views within like the first couple hours. Maybe not hours, I think it was actually days. I believe so. I current right now it's about 120 to 130 million views somewhere around there. And it did that like in at least a couple of days. I don't know. But when I checked it for a couple hours or at least the first day after it posted, it was already at a skyrocketing like 70 million or something. Like that. So it's insane. This game is insane absolutely insane and everybody knows everyone who knows about gta or at least barely someone knows about gta knows that gta 6 has been long awaited i mean like people literally make videos all the time like my son comes to me playing gta 6 i remember back in my day i used to play gta 5 you know like <laughs> everybody everyone just made a joke out of it that like it's never gonna happen but i guess rockstar changed their mind and after working quite a while and we shall see if their work truly paid off, has finally paid off and made GTA 6. Now, there's a catch. Of course, it's not coming out in 2023 or 2024. Nah, it's coming out in 2025. Where most people who play GTA have already probably like about 30, some people 40, but again, still decent amount of people who are from like, I don't know, anywhere five to like 20, which we'll address in a second. But yeah, it's a pretty crazy, the fact that it's taken two more years. Who knows how many years but it's been a while I, I don't know exactly but it's been quite a while and editing me will put it up right now on the screen how long it's been since the original gta 5 game came out but uh it's a fun game and it means a lot to a lot of people even though it has some controversial content let's say but yeah um yeah this is it's hard to put it but surprisingly such a popular and long awaited game is getting mixed reviews I mean, in fact, some of the most famous people themselves are criticizing the game and actually saying this game is bad for you. So uh, let's get into that in just a second. Now, there is actually the man, the myth, the legend himself to match the game, the myth, the legend game, right? Is the man himself, Elon Musk, the head hunji of Twitter. And my man, Elon, decides to post one day as a reply to some dude, and I'll try to put it up on screen. This, after playing GTA 5, I just could not stomach the fact that you had to shoot police officers in the opening scene. Well, this got a lot of negative backlash, right? The gaming community is split between a good amount of people who think gaming causes violence, gaming causes drugs, gaming causes pornography, gaming causes... And to be fair, what are the... Let's be honest here. Scientifically, if you look into it, like... There's a small amount of people who genuinely like, guys, I played Forza, I raced a car, I did street racing, now I'm gonna buy a Bugatti at the age of 10 after playing GTA 5 and Forza, and I'm about to go street racing. Guys, I just got shot, I just shot a cop in GTA, now I'm about to go do it on the street. I mean, yes, people have done this, but like, then again, is it the game's fault or is it just the fact that you're a terrible parent? Because to be honest, here's like, I, this, this, this could be a hot take. But honestly, I don't really think it is. I mean, like, a lot of problems we have nowadays, which I'm not going to get into everything, but a lot of problems we got nowadays is just because we have parents who are awfully stupid. I mean, like, listen, I hop on all kinds of games nowadays. Like, I'm taking a good day uh, playing on my one only unbanned Valorant account, you know, lovely. And uh, I'm just playing I'm like, how's everyone doing? And some squeaky four-year-old kid responds to me, hey, how are you doing? And I'm not trying to diss the fact that bro's four, but like, Dude, he's four. Like, I don't understand. Like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just like otherworldly. You know, maybe I have some like crazy hot takes here. But like, I, I just don't think personally we should have like four-year-old kids. Like, I'm just saying. When I was like eight years old, I was not on a Valorant, CS:GO, Fortnite. I wasn't even on Fortnite. Nothing. I had nothing, bro. I had Minecraft, and that's the bare minimum. 
And uh, those were good days, bro. They were golden days because when I got into, I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should try playing some Valorant, some Fort, hopped on. And uh, yeah, I regret 90% of the time I have on them because true, I had some good moments, but after all, the games are kind of not worth it. But uh, another thing that it is, is that GTA could be the game to bring it back. GTA 6 could be the game where, guys, we got hopes for this. We got hopes for this. But I mean, like, again, the argument here is that, well, sure, it's a great game, but like, there's so much like nudity and warfare and crime. I mean, dude, what do you expect? The game is called GTA 6, like Grand Theft Auto. Like, what do you expect to be like a peaceful game when you're being in a, <laughs> like a lawyer or something, like fighting crime? I mean, like, no, obviously not. It's, it's, it, we're living in America. What do you expect? Of course, someone's gonna make a game like that. But, um, I don't know. This is, this is my opinion on it. I just wanted to talk about it because it's just so big. Like, I think, like, hundreds of people commented why it's even Moist Critical has talked about it. Elon Musk, like I said, and I showed, has talked about it and shared his opinions on it. But after all, like, <laughs> to be fair, the game could be good. It could bring up some great memories. It could be fun. But we don't know much. I was gonna actually thinking about reacting to the trailer, but after being told that it's copyrighted and I don't really want to get a strike or even worse, get like my channel taken out or something like that for putting the trailer. Um, I just didn't think it was worth it. But yeah, hopefully you guys um, let me know what you think about it. I personally don't think it's uh, really worth thinking like it's a game, guys. Come on. If you truly like make a game into real life, then that's just uh, that's, uh, that's a skill issue on not just your part, but uh, your parents part, because to be fair, when I was a child, I was definitely not being told, Hey son, you see this game? That's real life, so go shoot some people. Nah, 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 that's not how it is. It's just a game, and uh, it's a friendly reminder to all y'all. Keep safe, keep in mind it's a game, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.